All right, I've got the Ishing FW190 back out here again this morning, and I've got it set up on the TX16S. I've got one flight on it with the TX16S, and it did seem like it was tail heavy. Kept wanting to climb on me. So I've got a US dime attached to the uh, bottom of the nose for some nose ballast weight. And I'm trying to remember, I think think that a dime weighs like 2.25 grams something like that it's slightly less than a penny I think all right so I've got it in fully stabilized mode let's launch and it is so smooth of course the controls are so smooth with the with the TX16S This is in fully stabilized mode. Isn't that a cool little plane? <laughs> okay, so let's climb up a little bit. It looks like it's hitting some wind up there. Let's climb up a little bit and we'll try manual mode again just to see what we have now that I have some nose ballast weight on it. Okay, we're in manual mode. It definitely wants to roll to the left. I assume that's probably motor torque. Alright, manual mode. Let's see here. Ah, does a nice roll to the left. Very slow to the right. Ah, I'm going to have to, uh, maybe the servo is not quite centered. Uh, the aileron servo, I'll we'll have to take a look at that. Alright, so let's come through here and see if we can do a loop with it in manual mode. Ready? See here? Yes, we can. Sweet. Now, let's go away from the sun here. Try something else. Oh, man! Did you see that? <laughs> that pivoted so quickly. I just, I wonder if it would do a stall turn. It definitely will do a stall turn. That's got a pretty, a pretty effective rudder on that plane. <laughs> let's try that again. I'll be a little gentler on it. Whoa, it wanted to rotate on me. But I can tell you that that nose weight sure makes makes it better balanced. I do have a little bit of uh, down trim in the elevator, but when I had it up the first time in manual mode, it just kept, kept kicking the nose up and kicking the nose up. So it looks like about two and a quarter to 2.5 grams of nose ballast weight is what you want on this plane because it's handling so much better now. Check that out. It's got plenty of power to do some decent sized loops. My uh, my left rolls are pretty, pretty awesome. Um, to the right are very, very slow. So I will have to check the linkage and the and the servo, aileron servo to see if it's centered up. But that's pretty awesome, isn't it? In manual mode, full manual mode with the uh, TX16S, that's pretty awesome. You could definitely do some aerobatics with this plane in uh, full manual mode with the Hobby Grade TX. I wonder. Let me come back through here. I wonder if I can do a. What if I could do a split S with it? <laughs> it got it got really squirrely there when it got slow. I almost hit the truck. Yeah, that's better. That's a better execution. You really need to roll it over and pull it through pretty fast because it doesn't have a lot of power to just hang there. But that's pretty cool. There we go. 
<laughs> I thought I was going to destroy the plane right there. Running into the truck. Check it out. That was pretty cool. All right, this plane is going to be a lot of fun in full manual mode with a hobby grade TX. With the stock TX, not so much. But with the hobby grade TX, awesome. And what I did, um, I haven't, I haven't done any tuning on it other than just a little bit of trimming and putting that nose ballast weight on it. But what I did was I took my setup for the Eshane Miss Helen. Uh, P51D 500 millimeter wingspan plane. I just made a copy of that. I just made a copy of that plane, and that's what I'm that's what I'm flying with, and it and it handles really well, and I've got really good control authority with it, guys. So um, it looks like the setup that I have on my on my Eshin Miss Helen P51D 500 millimeter warbird is going to work pretty well with this plane. As well, as well, so I mean, it's just a matter of getting it tuned. This is just the, my second fly um, with it with the TX 16. That's my first fly with the uh, nose ballast weight on it, and th and that really it really needs it. It really needs it. Okay, so let's put it back into fully stabilized mode. And bring it in for a landing. My timer is about to go off, but how's about how about that? That's a per that is a pretty good performing little 400 millimeter warbird, isn't it? Check it out now, except for the gravel. If it wasn't for the gravel, that thing would stay on its on its uh, wheels. But anyway, stay tuned. I'll get it. I'll get it all tuned out and um, and put it back in the air with the TX16S. See if I can get the rolls better. Uh, I'm going to be adjusting some linkage, but but pretty darn cool isn't it that's a pretty darn cool little 400 millimeter warbird there are there's a special link to it in the show notes and a coupon code guys i think you can get i think you can get the bind and fly with three batteries for less than a hundred dollars delivered to your door i think it's on sale right now but um it's not going to be much longer so so if you guys are interested in this go ahead and and pull the trigger on it while it is on sale because I think it's going to save you about five bucks on the purchase, which you know you could use for another battery, right? All right, uh, that's a wrap on this episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the air.